Hi and welcome to my channel. It's been a little while since I put any videos up as we've had so much rain and I'm having to work on the van outside. I've not been able to get anything done. I've now got my battery box all complete, which is going to be in this video, which will show you how I made it for my lithium cells and controller to go inside. And also a quick look around my electric system in the van and how I've done it. Today I am unboxing my lithium battery cells. What I've decided to do is I've bought the cells and I've bought the electronics and I'm going to build a wooden box to put it all in and create my own lithium battery. The reason I did it this way is I've got a 200 hour lithium battery for the same price as a 100 hour pre-made one. So effectively half price. Just for making a wooden box and very simple electrics just to wire it all up, make it all secure. Yes, it's not as pretty looking perhaps, but it will be when I've finished it and I've carpeted the box so it matches up with the rest of the van. So we'll unbox it and show you what I got. So we've got some terminals joiners there. And then what we've got in here, if I can get it out, it's quite heavy uh, and we're going to get this out all right let's rip the box open get a side rip the box because it's quite heavy Okay, so that's one cell. <laughs> so we have four of those. So all we have to do is create a box to keep them really tight together so there's no movement when the van's driving. And then, it's very simple, there's a positive and negative obviously on each cell. And I just need to use the metal connectors. So we go negative to positive, negative to positive. and then negative to positive. Effectively, then I have a negative and positive which are open. That's where we connect our solar and inverter. So that is the first part. Then, the bit that controls it all and works it all out and makes sure it charges correctly is this bit. And this is all the electronics. Bluetooth to your phone to an app. So it shows you exactly what's going on in your battery cells, each in each cell. How they're charging, how they're discharging, and so on and so forth which will just be sat inside the battery box at the right point and then the wires joining up to it. And then we have a little wiring 
loom there. That's your Wi-Fi to your phone. And the wiring loom just goes to each positive cell and one to a negative. That can tells the uh, electronics then what's happening. So that's just got to be put into the box somehow where the wires are long enough to, to reach, which is not going to be too difficult to do. Instructions on that, how to wire it. So that's uh, the wiring instructions. And that's that. Quite simple, really. <clears throat> then I've got an inverter. So this is my inverter for the van, which is remote controlled. So I can turn it on and off from inside the van instead of it having to be on all the time or having to get into the boot space or the garage space to do that. And then that's the inverter, which is going in the van. So this is a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So we'll just uh, take that apart to show you. So that's the inverter. Like I say, it's a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter, peak at 6000 watts. Never going to need that much, but it, what it means is that uh, me or the half can have a hairdryer and you can also have our straighteners. We could also run things like um, an air fryer or a toasting machine or anything like that if we want to. We will have gas for hob. Um, so we've got all the different choices that we can do. So that's the idea of it all. So anyway, that's all got to go in the back of the van. I've also got um, a battery to battery charger, split charger. So when we're driving, the engine is charging up the batteries as well. With the solar on top, which is uh, 375 watt solar panel on top, I think this is going to be plenty for what we are ever going to need as um, we're only going. We're not full-time living in a van, not our intention. Our intention is to be able to uh, to go away for weekends or maybe a week, um, but more for me to get away at, for the odd night um, when I'm doing my photography. So I haven't got to keep driving for two hours there and two hours back. I can go spend my time and then I've got somewhere to crash for the night and drive home the next day. That means I can go further afield than just staying around local to where I live. Right, so I'm going to measure this all up, work it out, and uh, start making a wooden box. Right, I've cut all the sides for the box, the base. I've just got a top to make in a bit. So I'm now covering it with some 5mm high-density foam, which will give it some protection inside the box and make everything tight but squeezable. So I've just put some contact adhesive, what I use for putting the carpet in the van, both sides. So I'm now going to stick these down on all sides, then I can screw the box together.
Okay, that box which is carpeted is the battery box that then feeds up to terminals up here, which is all my positive and negatives. Running from that, we have inline fuses, the battery to battery controller relay is there, and then 12 volt fuse box, 3000 watt inverter pure sign one then this is the solar panel charge system controller mp pt and a breaker switch beside it so it can be turned off if need be and beside that is the 240 unit consumer unit so we're all safe there so that's the whole setup I've still got a few wires still to do. These loose wires are, again, another set of light, uh, wires for lights. So when you open up the doors, lights will turn on underneath in the garage area so you can see what you're doing. All my wiring is surface mounted, so I can get back to it even when all the cupboards are in. I've not got to anything behind any walls that I can't get to. So as you can see, all the wires that go into the dividing wall between the bed and the, and the living compartment to go to the control units and everything, which means I can get to those. The white duct in there, conduit going across the back, is to take wires from one side of the van to the other. So everything in here can be got to so this is the control panel as you can see beside me and uh this one here this is the control panel for the solar so i can see how much energy we are creating what we're drawing and so on and so forth underneath is the remote for the inverter so if i click that one on that will turn on the inverter so now we have 240 volts and then over here is all my switches for turning lights on and everything else there so what you're looking at now is the bed fully adjusted into a sitting position so if we want to watch tv we can do sitting up and then this is all run off the 240 volts off the inverter with a remote control so I'll show you it going back down again. And there we go. Now adjusting and going back down to a flat bed, which is a full size bed. So I'm six foot tall and this is six foot three. And that's going all the way down to the finish point. And that's the controller for it there. And it's a four foot six bed. And I can lie in there and stretch full length if I want to. Okay, these wires down here, the big red one, is ready for me to feed back to the battery van. So it will do battery to battery charging when the engine's running. Haven't quite got that in yet. And the little cable is a light cable. So when you open the doors, lights will come on so you can see what you're doing. Okay. That concludes this video of my battery box building and the install of my electrics. I'll leave description below of where I bought some of the gear and how much it cost me, but it certainly was cheaper than buying ready-made systems. If you like this video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up to help my channel. And don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when I do the next video which shouldn't be as long as this one as the weather's improved. So I can now try and get on and finish the van. Thanks for watching. See you later. Cheers and gone.